everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of Binding of Isaac Antworth. Plus, we got the most important win of all, win one. You can only ever move that win counter by one every single time. G C G E P W S G. I, uh, I I have to avoid the risk of having this be another philosophical episode, but again, with so little... Well, I shouldn't say there's so little going on in the outside world that's oh, fundamentally uh, idiotic. However, what I mean to say is without the ability to go outside... <laughs> looking within is where the anecdotes come from, but you know, I think there's a lesson to be learned there. In any length of time, you can only move things by as much as you can move them, you know? You can't learn how to... ...program in a single day. What do you learn how to do in a single day? I don't know, maybe you learn what data types are. What's the data type of... ...three? What's the data type of, uh, your name? You know? Well, the answer is... ...perhaps more complicated than you might think, but also simpler. I feel like some people are gonna be like, Well, really, you could make three into a float if you wanted to, depending on the situation. But I, I mean, I think you're going for int, but in an edge case, it could be... You Look, I'm trying to make a broad philosophical abstract statement here, okay? We're not, let's not get into the minutia of it. If I was teaching a program, an intro to programming class, and, uh... I asked what kind of data type is the number three? If somebody said, long, long, I would say, leave. If somebody said, unsigned integer, I would be like, you are A, right, which is why... Oh, this is, this is close, dude. I think, I think we are gonna take this. Having unlimited bombs, I've, I mean, this is a big character change for me, as you can tell, but I've, I've come to accept it. I've come to accept its usefulness. Um... Plus, I only ever end up using sprinklers on the boss anyway. And to be honest, I think when you're when you're in tight, as, as we slightly are here, I would much rather have an item that has kind of like a static good, as opposed to its goodness getting higher as your run gets better. Um, that way, like we have some protection here. If that makes any sense at all. Um, really, not a secret room. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, it's not to say, like, hey, you're wrong. It's more like, why are you an intro to programming? Like, you're an intro to programming just to flex? Why don't, why don't you get yourself to, uh... You know, uh, algorithm design or something like that. You can't learn how to program in a single day. You, you don't go to the gym once and uh, become a, an Olympic power lifter. You don't eat one salad after a lifetime of dietary neglect and wake up 30 pounds lighter. All you can do is every day, put one foot in front of the other, do it in the best way possible, correct yourself if you lose your balance, and then uh, hope you're moving in the right direction. It's the way I look at it, at least. But for now, how we doing? We're doing fine. It's uh, it's a Wednesday. Yesterday was a... I had a really good stream yesterday. Unity was good. We had some technical problems, like Apollo and I getting disconnected. Constantly from Warzone, but like, okay, it's not really our fault. It's a, a known issue. Um, and then secondarily, we played very well. And then Malf and I did uh, Super Mega Baseball round one of the playoffs, which I won't spoil for you, but was a lot of fun. And, you know, really, again, an opportunity to kind of rethink things. That was a suggestion from a lot of people that have watched the series on YouTube were like, hey, you know, if you make it to the playoffs, it would be sweet to have it be. That was dumb. Um, to have it be live. Especially, I, I really feel like the lack of actual live sports right now influenced that decision as well. And it's less like, oh, there's a gap in the market. Like, I think people, you could very easily take that cynically. And that's the other thing when people like <laughs> talk about what we do cynically, I'm like, we're. Malf and I, we're not CBS, you know, we're not, uh, we're not a major television network or a, a Hollywood production company. Sometimes we're like, hey, this would be fun. People were like, I could see why they do it. With the gap that the NFL has left in the market, more people than ever will be watching digital baseball. And I'm like, dude, you got, your impression of our impact on the industry is way out of whack. Anytime I go to an industry event, 
There's like one other content creator who's like, hey, I, I loved your stuff when I got started. Uh, I, I watched a lot of your stuff. I didn't really have time for it after I hit 3 million subscribers on YouTube, but like I really appreciate what you've done. And I go, thank you. And then everybody else is like, I have no idea who you are. What do you do? And I'm like, I, I play like a lot of indie games. And they're like, oh, cool. So how long have you been like doing YouTube and Twitch? And I'm like, uh, 3 million years. And they go, oh, I see. But that's, you know, I don't go to that many media events anymore. So it's, it doesn't happen that often, to be quite frank. Um, but yeah, you know, there is, it was partly influenced by the fact that, you know, sports are uh, fun, the most fun to watch with a live environment and the most fun to watch when you don't know what the outcome will be. I, I think that's abstract. Like, if you're a true fan, you may watch like a replay of something. Like, maybe you couldn't see the Dodgers game last night because you had work or, you know, it was a bat mitzvah or something like that um so you might be like hey don't spoil the game for me i'm gonna watch it you know when i get home tomorrow i can't even do that really like i when when the nhl is on i watch as many canucks games as i can watch 7 p.m is a little i usually am still working for like an hour hour and a half after that but um if if i miss a game I d or if I even like show up late or well not show up but you know what I mean I I don't go like you know oh I'm just gonna watch the VOD I'm like I'll just check the score and I'm ah eight one that must have been a good one for the other team we're taking our time here I I really don't like uh, how I feel about our HP right now I feel like my HP might be pretty low um, that's not gonna be a secret room so this may. And if that's not, this may. We can wait. It's, I'm not sweating it. All right. All right. Did we, we didn't check here. Did we check? We checked there. Okay. All right. Let's... I, I'm, I'm free. I'm free. That's good damage. I appreciate they're, they're not giving me any freebies. Like, they, this is difficult. Uh, I mean, not pin, but the run in general is quite difficult based on our attributes here. Anyway, we, we don't need to talk about that. I just want to make sure we live to see whatever the deal with the devil is. And Pentagram is beautiful. And Duality is probably something that would get us killed just to pick it up. So let's say no to that and see what we got on the next floor. We wouldn't have died, but it would not have been worth it. I, I feel very justified. This is still... I mean, Flooded Caves is not where you want to be. We're going to have to use this Algis in all likelihood not for what we would love to do with it. Which is get a, uh, a Blood Bank to pay out with something, but... Rather, probably, just to avoid a little bit of damage on a tough room. It is what it is. Oh, dude, now that's good luck. Anyway. Yeah, it's been it's been fine. Been having a decent week. A little bit like... It's been a slow work week. I think I, think I am... Let's not call it burnout, because I, I really don't think that what I have is... Uh, symptomatic of burnout but i've been grinding real hard like and it, again this is not to garner sympathy it's just to tell you where i'm at if you're like you know where was this video today first off you should like I, even if you don't have twitter i'm just gonna give you a suggestion and you don't have to use your account but if you're ever wondering where a video is i almost like 98 percent of the time tweet about it if you're like, I don't want to use Twitter, I get it, but like, what do you want from me? Do you want me to make a video on YouTube every time I miss a video? Because like, that's the... If you're only on YouTube, it, it becomes very difficult to pass on little micro bits of information, which is what I use the, the Twitter for predominantly in the first place. Um, so that's just this is my suggestion. If, you, if you're wondering, like, hey, where's the baseball today? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, just pop it. Just pop it. Stop the bleeding. Go to twitter.com slash northernlionlp. You can figure it out. You can figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I think, like, in, in April and May in particular, less so in June, but in April and May in particular, the only times I realized how much I was working, and I was working a lot, 
was when I, because I made a commitment to like check in and like, you know, respond to some comments on every single video I post. So sometimes I would be like, oh, it doesn't feel like I've really done that much. Uh, recently, and then I would click on the videos to go to the comments. So I'm looking at my video manager, and I'm like, okay, show me everything that went public today. And I, you know, click baseball, click Isaac, click Northern Land tries, click Monster Train, click Golden Goblet, click uh, Geo Guesser, click the Unity VOD, click the NLSS VOD, click on the Dark Souls VOD. And then sometimes there would be like another thing from like a sponsorship or something. Again, I want to stress, I'm not complaining. But I was like, oh my god, I published like eight or nine videos today. <laughs> Even if, you know, a third of them are not uh, stuff that I made bespoke. You know, I didn't like, for, for VODs, those were obviously made in advance and then just ported over. That's still like, that's a lot. So I've kind of been a little bit more, a little slower paced this week. We're taking a week off from the Golden Goblet. I don't know, it might be two weeks off. We'll see. It's not, uh, it, you know, there's no interpersonal dispute there. It's legitimately just... It, I, it's the same thing that happened to Unity. You know, for a long time, we didn't know what to play. You don't take time off in the hopes that within the next two weeks, a game will come out that'll be a perfect fit, because that's extremely naive. You know, you got like 15,000 choices for what to play, and you're like, mm, none of these tickle my fancy, but I have faith that within the next 10 days, the perfect Unity game is going to come out. Not not likely, right? Um, but instead, you're like, okay. I mean, being forced to look harder to make a decision, I think, is good. Or, alternatively, if you don't find anything after a couple of weeks, you come back to some of the stuff that maybe you said no to in the past, and you're, you're, you're more... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Ameliorant? Is that a... That word's in my head for some reason. Am amenable! That's what I'm looking for, not ameliorant. Okay, good. Uh, pop this. We can start to use our real bombs, by the way. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> You're done. That was super easy. We do still need to go to our item room, and I'll tell you, I'm happy to have the HP, but we, we'd love speed, tears, and damage. Really, like, all three of them are, are pretty essential. Um, but, but for now, this is looking okay. But yeah, it's been, like... I, I say this mostly to give perspective. Again, I, I'm being overly, like, defensive about it, but I'm really not being, like... Because, here's the thing. As a YouTuber, as a streamer, when you complain about your job, it falls on deaf ears. And maybe, I know the argument from some people, is it shouldn't, because, you know, a job is a job. There's things you love about it. And then some days you're like, this day wasn't as good as the others. Um, you know, even if you're like the chocolate taster, you're like, oh, the, the batch from Ritter Sport today was slightly too acidic, you know? That's okay, honey. You'll get him next time. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I want that one, but uh, just to, you know, I, I do think it's fair. I took it anyway. Okay, scary. I do think it's fair, though, because, like, I, I, I take a different approach to the kinds of comments that are like, well, you know, you think your job's bad. I'm a bricklayer, and I work, you know, from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., and when I get home, my family's all getting ready for school, so I never get to see them except on the weekends, but I'm so tired that we just hang out on the couch, and I'm like, dude, you know what? Thank you for the perspective, because I'm going to stop complaining so much. I think a lot of people respond to that and go like, hey, shut up. Everybody's got it hard. I'm more like, okay, you got me beat. <laughs> fair enough. I hope I hope that that resolves for you in in whatever way possible that that there is, but or that you're crushing it at least in some avenue, maybe financially. Um, so that's why I'm I'm defensive about it, is because honestly I have I have respect for what I do, but simultaneously, like last night, I streamed uh, about 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then spent like an hour, an hour and a half, uh, like exporting and setting VODs and stuff like that. So I was kind of done by like 7.30 or 8 p.m. And then I, I was 
from 8 p.m. to 12.30. I was like, what the heck do I do? <laughs> I was like, I, could, I have time to watch a movie during the weekday? Did something go wrong? Like, I almost felt a, a little guilty about it. But I gotta admit, it was also very nice. So the kind of thing a, a man could get used to. Hey, you know another thing that a man could get used to? Or anybody for that matter, is having a, a slightly higher uh, damage stat. So that, like, you know... These tiers, which are admittedly very cool looking, also had the capability to, I don't know, maybe like damage some enemies. Oh, why, why walk into it? I will say, I think that we really did make the right decision to not keep Sprinkler. I think keeping Sprinkler would have led to, I mean, to have Explosivo tiers like more widespread, could be worth something, but like... Could also be a little bit harmful for us, a little bit damaging, you know? Um, I, I think we're almost at the point where we start taking pills. And I, I think there's a there's a case there, I think there's a use case. Um, like, this is a, a, an exceptionally slow run. Nobody denies that part. Uh, what should we be doing? Well, we sh probably should have been shooting poop. For a while. Let, let me make a Mia Culpa for that one right away. I forgot completely that we had uh, petrified poop. And we probably should be using wait what to blow up absolutely everything. Really, like, I think a lot of my tendency to lose in Isaac really does come down to uh, slow is fast sometimes. And it's a quote that resonates with me. If you rush something and you have to do it 25 times, because you were trying to do it 2% faster than doing it the right way? Is that really doing it faster? I mean, if it works the first or second time, maybe. But I think about it like, you know, sometimes I'll change the duvet cover. And if, I don't know how often you change your duvet cover, but like the one that we have... You, it, it's a cover over a, a blanket, and then we pull the blanket out we put a new blanket in and then there's like every one of the corners snaps in to make sure that it uh you know stays level so that you don't end up with one person having like just the cover and one person having way too much blanket which are both bad depending on the time of the year but i'm not gonna belabor the point uh but sometimes in the past i tried to rush through it i'm like it's easy you're just shoving a rectangle into a rectangle just get it done and then i take no care in it whatsoever, and what should be like less than a five minute task is actually, it takes me like 15 minutes because I put in three of the corners and then I realize, oh, the second corner wasn't put in properly. Um, come on, man. Come on, man. So we got to start over from zero. Why is this run so delicate, dude? You get the idea, but when you pay attention to it, which is not a, a an easy habit for me to, it, you know, it doesn't come naturally to me, um, then it, it it gets a little easier. It gets a little easier. This is a weird one. Uh, why why use that? <laughs> it's a weird one for me. Let's take a pill. Okay, okay. Because I really want the compass, but I also really want to not die, which I think probably means we want spirit hearts. I think we've been using wait what a little bit incorrectly as well. I think we should have been standing further back of where we think the secret room is in order to get like the maximum chance that actually hits. So, for for a bit here, because this is hopefully the most delicate point on the run, we're going to invest as many resources as we can to make sure that this part of the run goes smoothly because really we've got item room, a shop with a reroll machine. Screw it. I think we're in. It made all of our stats worse. How is how is that possible? If all of your stats get balanced, how can they all get worse? I, I, I don't comprehend. I accept, but I do not comprehend. Now that's good positioning. 
Dude, I don't know. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Might take us there. But I really, I do feel like, uh... Maybe our tears got better, actually. And maybe our speed went up a little bit. Why did it turn red, then? Maybe it turned red because of a, a, a Liberty Cap uh, synergy in there. I don't, or not synergy, but like deactivation. I don't know, man. It, it's wonky. But again, I, I really like... Well, let's, let's go back to audition meta. Red. I do see this as, uh, as kind of an audition, you know, for your viewership. We were having good runs. Previous me, maybe took it for granted a little bit. Would have been like, eh, even with a loss here, people are going to keep watching. New me is frightened. But not in a bad way, necessarily. Let's go. It totally would have worked earlier. So we're actually going to... We're actually going to blow this up. And we definitely... Our dream scenario is not buying an item anymore. It's buying three spirit hearts. And I'll recognize that uh, 9 volts also could have been pretty good. <clears throat> I don't think it's what we want right now, though. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's still by, by my standards, it's still early in the morning here. It's only 2 p.m. <laughs> Just kidding. 2 p.m. is when the NLSS starts today. <laughs> if you were a true fan, you would know that. Maybe we don't take that quite yet. I'm happy to not see Krampus, uh, but I do think we don't take that. I think that Wait What is still decently good enough. Decently good enough. And another luck upgrade. Starting to feel a little bit better. Because we got a shot speed upgrade, Libra actually played well. Libra gave us a Tears upgrade, which is pretty unlikely considering I'm pretty sure the shot speed upgrade is like 0.1 or something like that, but I'll, I'll take it, dude. I'll take what I can freaking get right now. So we have a little bit more survivability thanks to the Spirit Hearts, and, and I got a little bit more hope. Oh my god, stop. But yeah, I've been a little bit more casual with it. So what, uh... What did I watch last night when I had so much free time? So much more than I'm used to, at least. Um, well, it came highly recommended from a friend of mine, so I watched the 2014 Keanu Reeves movie, uh, Replicas. <clears throat> it has a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not a particularly high score. Um, there are movies with, with worse ratings, um, but it's pretty bad. Uh, and I would say that that rating is actually generous. It's, it's one of those movies that after watching it, I really did say to myself, one in 11 people whose job it is to review movies said this was worth watching. I was, I was more stunned by the fact that at 9%, the movie was still somehow overrated. But would I recommend it for a so bad it's good movie? I would put it on the borderline. I would say I, I'm not upset with the time that I spent watching it because it was uh, ridiculous. Also, you definitely got the vibe um, that Thomas Middleditch knew what he was making. I, I believe that Thomas Middleditch over the production of this film was like, this is not going to be good, but it might be funny. And, and he kind of leaned into that. And I, and I respect that. I do. Because that's how I felt about Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. I was very uh, pleased to be incorrect about that. It is one of the highest rated short films on IMDb now. Um, and and well deserved, of course. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Forgot what I was saying. Something. I was saying something. Um, yeah, uh, it, it's not inundated with so bad it's good, like, tropes. Like, it's not a Neil Breen movie or The Room or anything like that. Come on, come on. It's much more just, like... Kind of, uh, boring. But the, the scenes that are not boring are very, very funny. I, w I would, uh, if you got the chance, it just came out, at least on Canadian Netflix. That might be why you've heard so many people talking about uh, replicas recently, despite the fact, maybe it's not 2014, it might be like 2016. Um, 
or even 2019 i don't know but it it, it just came out at least on canadian netflix so uh in case you're wondering like why has there been such a conversation about this bad movie recently that's why that's why now i this is not fair but i am absolutely begging this run just begging it to give me some tools. I've I've really done a, a pretty okay job on it. Uh, I'm hoping you'll find it in your heart to to work with me on this one. And just like like I'll, I'll play it out. Don't get me wrong, but it would be like suit. You'd be a real bro. If you could just give me, like, anything that's useful at all. <laughs> just kidding, unless... Like, it takes a special run to make me a little concerned about what's gonna happen with Sister Viz. I'm, oh, there's no way I'm not getting blasted there. Once, once I made the mistake of standing there in the first place. We had no reason to be upset or scared because actually Explosivo is gonna do insanely well here. And Magic Mush. Okay, thank you. Like, honest to goodness, thank you. This probably does make it so we would have been better off not taking uh, Libra, but it's still a, an aggressively good improvement. As is this, for the record. If we get Blood Bag here. And we are gonna... We're gonna push it a little bit, for sure. Thank God it's the Depths 2. In my head, I was like, it's the Depths 1, dude. I was very frightened. We're gonna keep going for it. I mean, we're making a lot of money, bar none. There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Like a blood bag. Oh, the HP. Oh, and the the all stats. One more. We got one more. We don't have one more there. All right. Well, it's still like pretty sweet. All right. Hey, we got rid of the champion. That's that's a next level Isaac strategy. You won't see that in Sinvicta's episodes, let me tell you. You might see that in Sinvicta's episodes. I actually don't know. Just just be done. Yeah, there you go. And again, if you're wondering why I don't watch other YouTubers that much, it's because of the fact that you not just hear me. I barely got to watch this incredible movie starring Keanu Reeves. <laughs> And he's not only he's a national sweetheart, he's a local sweetheart to Vancouver. He's he, he, I mean, he's probably been nominated for an Oscar, right? He's not, I, I wouldn't look, I I love Keanu Reeves. As I mean, I don't know him as a human being. All the stories I've heard about him as a human being. He seems like a super cool guy. I actually like almost all of his movies. I don't think he's the greatest actor, but I think if you're going for a particular role, he is one of the best choices. And I, I feel, I mean, I've said this many times, I feel like action movie uh, actors, or, or, and that's not all Keanu Reeves is, but early in his career, he was mostly focused on that. Um, I, I feel like they're heavily underrated. I feel like people give a lot, uh, let's not say too much. People give a lot of credit to dramatic actors, and uh, both the movie and the actor or actress in an action movie, sometimes, in my opinion, end up being highly underrated. Like, just because, uh, you know, Speed is not a movie where a bunch of old people talk to each other a lot, does not make it any less of a piece of art. Can you imagine? I wonder if that, that kind of snobbishness existed in the art world in, like, the Renaissance era. Ugh. Another painting where people are on fire or being dragged down to the depths of hell by weird little demons with infant faces. Ah, uh, just something to appease the id of the masses. And then they see a painting of a bowl of fruit, and they're like, my, my god, so delicate. So understated. Look at the shading on the pear. <laughs> this is so... And the, the Oscar, the Leonardo for best painting goes to... Bowl of fruit... Number 3000. Starring Meryl Streep. Ooh, did it? Okay, I got nothing against Meryl Streep. I think she's a fantastic actress. And in fact, I've actually... Uh, I've defended quote-unquote Oscar bait movies. I like a lot of them. The The most recent example I can think of is The Post, which is a, a period piece biopic 
or biopic, depending on how you like to say it. I'm too old for this kind of linguistical minutia at this point. Um, Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, about a, uh, a newspaper in the 1960s, I think it's the 60s at least, um, reporting on something that the White House did. It's a complete Oscar bait film, and I expected to be bored out of my mind. When I watched it, I was like, this is actually completely compelling. It's not exciting. Like, it's not like, oh, I wonder what kind of stuff they're going to get up to in this movie. It was a very, very compelling story told well. Now, uh, you know what would have made it a lot better? Is if halfway through the movie, uh, a ring portal descended in the middle of uh, Boston. Sure. And then we'll purr throw. Oh my god, that's beautiful. And uh, then... Thanos walked out, holding three of the Infinity Stones. And then Tom Hanks said, Excuse me, there's something I have to do. And then he went like... Friday? Suit up. Dun, 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 dun. Gung, gung, gung. So I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you for a good shop here, okay? I'm begging you for a good shop. Just a good shop. Okay, yas. Diplopia is extremely tempting. It really is. Um, but we don't really want to Diplopia the straw. And the straw is like... It's not there yet, but it's close to being too good to pass up. It's very similar to Wait What, really. I hate when these things shoot without an animation, man. How come he don't telegraph, man? Okay. So I think we're probably not gonna take Diplopia. The thing is, we could use it to get free deals with the Devil. But I think we're at the point with the, with the HP that we have, where if our deals with the Devil were good enough to take, we would be happy. More than contented. We would be happy to pay full price. We're going a little hard on this, but not too hard. Oh my god, it's so incredibly useful. <laughs> these are big plays. These these are plays that are, you know, worth worth thanking the game for. For certain. Now will we get out of here in time for me to eat something before I stream for five hours today? It's unlikely. Is that bad time management on my uh, behalf? Perhaps. I probably could have consumed my coffee, uh, you know, in, in five minutes instead of six and a half, but it's all right. That's what the protein bars are for. There we go. Save that straw. We're, we're, okay, we, we can't lose our deal with the devil chance here, and we shan't lose our deal with the devil chance here. Oh, that was so close. As a deal with the angel, which might be even better. Um, I doubt it, but sure. Let's let's give this a, a weird try. Let's add some more weirdness on top of this one. I'm leaving. I'm not fighting the angel statue because I care not. We've gone through enough strife on this one. It's a curse of the labyrinth, which is truly incredible for us. Okay, I'm willing to say that I actually think this is a very, very good use of little brimstone. I don't say it that much, but I'm like, here, the fact that the shots are so slow, which I can only assume is due to the, or they lose speed, let's say, which is uh, due to whatever our eye-popping tiers are called. Uh, actually, it's due to air drag. You don't know that air drag is modeled in this game. Did you see that dodge? Did you see the dodge? Have you seen my dodge? Have you seen my dodge? Okay, look at this, dude. We are locked in here. Don't look at that dodge. Look at the previous dodge. Now back to me. Now back to the dodge. Now back to me. What is this? It's an old, old Old Spice commercial. It is an aged Old Spice commercial. All right. So that was pretty sweet. But 
We can't really be of the position that, like, everything's sorted just because that floor went well. Because part of the reason that floor went well is because we didn't have to do that floor, like, at all. But, the, dude, the damage is actually extremely legit here. I'm willing to sign off on this as a Northern Lions certified synergy. I really feel it. this is this is a synergy that you can uh, you can get behind. Come on, it's it's actually we've in in the scope of one item. Thank you, Infamy, by the way, or in the span of one item, we've gone from uh, being uh, room focused to being boss focused. Thank you, Infamy. By the way, I will I will say thank you, Infamy, but I will not say like oh, Infamy saved us because. Uh, I think we've done our part on this run. Just by getting here, I think we've done our part. But I do appreciate it, don't get me wrong. Would it protect me from the spikes damage? Uh, let's go ahead and say probably not. But yeah, we've, we've gone from a run that was room focused to a run that's boss focused. Especially, oh my god, okay. Infamy saved us. As long as, uh... As long as the boss doesn't move too much, and, and most of our remaining bosses, they don't move too much. They move a little. They don't move as much as these guys. Um, we should be pretty safe. Should do a lot of damage. Oh, when the shot lands right on top of them and just stays there. And just, oh, it bleeds them. That's really, like, good DPS. This is a run that is, it has become better than the sum of its parts. And if you didn't believe that I'm in this for the long haul, you believe it now, I hope. I hope you believe it now. This is pretty good, actually. I think that uh, Mom's contacts will be amazing. I don't even know if Evil Eye will work. And my my spidey sense is telling me... First off, that th this looks like when you go to a bowling alley after 6 p.m. For a kid's birthday party. We're, we're on real cosmic bowling hours, but... I'm being... Uh, a little Isaac cartographical knowledge is whispering in my ear going, Don't take the shortest path. The shortest path is rarely the correct path. Sometimes you gotta do a little, uh, ring around the rosy first. You ever think it's time for more children's, uh, songs? Like, ring around the rosy? They're all, like, based on terrible things from British history, right? At least the ones we sing in, in Canada. Ring around the rosy, London bridges falling down, falling down. It's all, like, songs made for parents to give kids something to cope with during terrible times of strife and misery while also simultaneously like maybe learning something about their history at the same time we need some songs i think that are just you know what we need songs that are for kids by kids we need songs that are like i saw a cute puppy cute puppy cute puppy i saw a cute puppy the puppy was cute that's, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's... <laughs> He's on Eurovision mode. This, is, this has been fun and all, but... Maybe we can go? So I think I was completely incorrect. Maybe the shortest distance is actually the, the correct distance this time. I don't know. I was stretching already. I'm stretching already. Okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe not. Okay. Just relax, me. Why, why try to rush this one, you know? Everything's A-OK. -okay. Uh, no, that's gonna be a dead end. They wouldn't... Okay, maybe not. Maybe not, because I don't see how they... <laughs> don't worry about it. We're fine. Remember how earlier I said, like, one of my fatal flaws in Isaac that led to many losses was playing too quickly? This is pretty much the exact situation you're seeing here, except thankfully I have enough HP to not be completely swallowed up by it. This will be a long floor, though. 
That's fine. That's that's fine, dude. I'm really thankful for what this run has become because it didn't always start there. Or it, 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 I mean, obviously it didn't start there, but I, it, it didn't even really like get there until really I think until we picked up this uh, angelic brimstone, dude. Hey, I actually really like that. I, I love having a room with no enemies in it. I think that's a fantastic turn of events for us. I love having the opportunity to use a Horf pill effectively. And you know what I'll tell you the most? I think I love being able to take one hit per room without uh, constantly being beset by anxiety. Now that actually, that Blood Rites is fairly tempting. Now, we probably should try not to take one hit per room. Certainly, that seems very, very sensible to me. Oh, we got an item. But hey, you know, I, I really... If we're going to have difficult runs, I'd rather have them at the start of the streak. Not so that if we lose, you know, we're, we're closer to the bottom. But so that I can reaffirm my commitment to you early. Now, I don't know. Shielded Tears may make this uh, very trivial. But I... So our, our, our beams are going to block anything that comes out of the enemies, I believe. Any shots, at least. I want to put that to the test. Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll put it to the test on Blue Baby, for sure. Maybe they don't, actually, now that I look at it. Oh, no, they totally do. And they don't get destroyed themselves when they block the shot. Oh, but they the Shielded Tears don't work 100% of the time? I don't know, it's a little weird. Either way, um, this seems very, very good, especially when we get 70 shots to just stand on top of the uh, the enemy's hitbox, which is also where they summon their shots from themselves, so seems pretty good to me. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. So pretty much this should be good enough. You got a little curve going on in there, and I respect it. I, I decided to give this fly a chance, and it almost made it happen. But anyway, why, what's up with those other flies? For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're up to two wins in a row, and I'll see you next time. See ya!